Okay, so today we have a speedy review of a new release gimbal from Failtech that went somehow under my radar. It's called the Failtech Vlog Pocket 2 and is the improved version of the first Vlog Pocket foldable smartphone gimbal. And I will tell you right now that this is kind of the smallest that you can go right now for a smartphone foldable gimbal. It sits in the middle just like the others, DJI Osmo Mobile 4, the Hohem iSteady, the Smooth Q2 and the Moza Mini MX. I went out for some test shots and some BTS shots with my Insta One R 360 module on my head. Firstly, let's have a look into the unboxing. In the generally good looking package from Feote, you will get the vlog pocket gimbal with the small tripod stand, the USDC charging cable, the soft shell pouch and the instructions. The gimbal is foldable and it's really easy to unfold it and mount it on the phone position. It's rated to be able to hold 250 grams of weight, so bigger phones should mount pretty much with ease and no problems, even some accessories on it. Let's go for the specs and the layout. The battery is rated to hold up 9 hours and the button layout reminds me of the DJI's mobile series design. Right side USB-C charging port with the power button, left side zoom rocker. On the back there is the today standard trigger button and then on the front you'll find the joystick, mode, photo and video record button. All the motors have lockable motors so it will not wobble around in your pocket or whatever you are holding it. Ok so to be able to use the smart features the gimbal offers you to download the Feo app and it will connect pretty fastly to your smartphone. The layout of the app is pretty much ok and I found a lot of different shooting styles and mode, some of that I tested personally. Let's disclose one thing, lately I'm having a problem recording with my OnePlus 6, actually recording lower than the described frame rate. So I'm actually having a 20 frame per second video rather than a 25 or 30. It's maybe on a software issue of my smartphone or maybe the failed the app. But it's happening also on my other smartphone gimbals from other brands with the dedicated apps so maybe it's my smartphone know the dedicated app. So let's move on on this speedy test. The zooming isn't smooth as I would want to like to be, it's kind of bumpy. Maybe it will also depend on which smartphone you are using with your gimbal. A double tap to the M button and you will have the easy horizontal switch button. 2020, this should be normal on every gimbal. Working just like intended. On the bus shooting options you will find video mode, light trail video, normal video, dolly zoom video, track time-lapse and static time-lapse. Photo mode, 360 panorama, 180 panorama, ultra wide angle, free panorama, quick panorama, a lot of panoramas. And here go some of the examples shot with the Vlog Pocket 2. Actually sometimes the gimbal would not be centered while taking the pano shots, ending up having the horizon not straight anymore. This is a test unit with the latest firmware, maybe it's just my review test unit or actually it's an easy calibration fix. Not going to dig so much on it. You will be able also to turn on the professional mode. Select your shooting quality. For me there was only 4K 30 options. It will always depend which smartphone you use with your gimbal and the Failtech app. You will be also able to choose some other shooting modes like the photo timers, HDR and more with the today standard tracking option. It's not the greatest tracking but it will work just ok. Just like the ship tracked on the rudder mounted on top. Don't expect other mobile tracking. Dolly zoom video actually looks good and you can achieve some great dolly zoom effects. Not spectacular but really usable. The test shots didn't show any weird vibrations or jitters. The gimbal does a pretty nice job stabilizing the footage. If you see some jitters on the screen it's the missing frames from my OnePlus 6 that decided not to record. Overall a nice competitor in this field and with an $100 USD price stands kind of in the middle of the price range for this type of gimbals. Would I recommend it? Well yes. Note one thing, the app isn't the most refined in the market for this type of gimbals and there is also the size is really small and compact and I don't have any issues with that. It's kind of an ok solution if you're just starting out and remember you don't have to use your smartphone dedicated fail app, you can use your smartphone dedicated camera, basically some third party camera apps that works greatly on this kind of gimbals. And if you have any questions feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all your questions. Until my next time, 
thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video, and see you on my next one.